Um, I think it's an easy formula. Yeah, but switch it, switching gears now, I, I do want to bring up something that I came across online. Uh, you guys ever heard of a Pastor Tony Rappu? Mm-hmm. I just heard about him the last time. I just recently heard about him myself. Yeah, when I saw this clip about this girl. Yeah. Uh, so apparently, well, apparently there's supposed to be this growing crack epidemic in Nigeria. Heroin. Heroin crack. and crack. And there's this video. I'm gonna play it now. Is is this girl? She oh. goes by the name Lizzie. Yeah. Um. She allegedly went to Vivian Fowler. Even though Vivian Fowler quickly came out with a statement saying <laughs> she didn't go there. We we didn't see our records. I'm gonna, but, talk, I'm gonna talk about that too. But I suspect uh, she very, really did go they're, there. They're very foolish. But listen to this. Listen to this. It's 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 this girl. They're showing her in this crack. What looks like a crack house or something. Hold on. Um, you know, just to give a, a quick background, what this girl does is she, like during the day, she goes, she dresses like these, you know those Wali people, or what they call them? Those Muslim people. Mm-hmm. The people that wear hijabs, mm-hmm. like on the streets in Nigeria. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And she goes and she begs all day, like literally. And she goes, she begs, and then at night, she goes to this crack house and she just yeah, that's what crackheads do she, money. That's she, why sells, I don't be she sells money herself i mean it's, it's pretty sick I, like on, I, a lot of these homeless I, guys in baltimore if you give them money i didn't that's know what this was do. going on in lagos Ni, Ikeja. watch this i'm going to play this real quick hopefully you guys can hear it i've been here now for seven years i've been seeing different rehab and i refuse to go because i feel they will not be able to take care of me because of um, the heroin and crackers gone inside me very well. But I've been, I've been hearing about Tony Rappu for a very, very long time. And last time he was here, I was not fortunate to see him. When they came for Buki. Do you I see her? Oh for this moment I see. For like very, she very looks. I finished my secondary school for me and Fowler. I went to Caleb Nosby and Primary School. I came in to drop They're showing us smoking the crack right now. Yeah. He used to be my boyfriend. He was putting in my weed. I don't know. So there was one time he now showed it to me that I was not like, ah, what is this one? He said it's cocaine. I said, ah, why will you be putting cocaine in my weed and you not tell me? That's how I go into crack. Mm. So yeah, she got it through, through so much. But before we even break this down, first of all, the, the only thing that bothers me about this is I understand you guys want to paint a picture, bro. If you're supposed to be helping out, why are you having a small crack on, on, the, on the That stuff? was weird. Yeah, it's kind of weird. Um, that was weird. But to Vivian Fowler, I think you guys are like the most stupid school ever because, um, first of all, anyone who went to school in Nigeria, Vivian Fowler girls are one of the wor- worst sets of like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like any time you hear Vivian Fowler, you hear the, the most raunchy thing. That wasn't me. No, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm saying with my chat. No, 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 not about drugs, but like, it's uh, it, the stereotype about VF girls were like, you know, they were the Rochester yeah, girls that were wild. Mm-hmm. But let's even say that's all just BS and rumors and they're all saints and angels. Um, the fact that you guys had to go and say you dug deep um, and then you didn't find her name, any of the names she gave and she had no record. What is that gaining? Like, what is what are you trying to say that? Oh no! Did she say Vivian Fala was where she started smoking crack? She only said she went to Vivian. I know that was so no, it's like the no, fact you have to understand the culture in Nigeria. Yeah, but that's like, why I said this is and this is a problem we have. We putting that. ourselves in a box. Come out and say nothing, or just say this you know what? As much as we don't think she came to our school, we're sad to see what's going on with her, and we hope girls and if, like you don't distance yourself. Distancing mm-hmm. doesn't solve a problem. Yes, you're thinking that because you're here. Like, but they need to, someone needs to start. What's going to happen in Nigeria is... Everybody say we're not going to VF. Yeah, and, and that's a very stupid because, thing. Because she said... Vivian and that's the very stupid crackhead. thing because the truth of the matter is no matter how good... I've seen goody two-shoes parents feeling like their kids are the best and they're the worst of the kids. Like, we paint this picture where, no, no, ah, I can't do that. But she like, needs... Let me give you an example. So my brother um, just started college yeah. um, this semester... And my parents, I t- I, he's an American citizen, and I told him, I'm like, okay, why don't you, he was here for the summer, just hanging out, not doing anything. I'm like, why doesn't he go to community college and take classes? Mm-hmm. And he was like, what do you mean? God forbid, like, mm-hmm. oh, we hear this, there's this stereotype of oh, yeah. community college. Oh, they're just, just hanging out, drinking, 
smoking crack smoking and th- like legit that's what they think she go to stanford and, and i'm like goes on and that's what i said mm-hmm. i'm like <laughs> like you think yeah. oh okay community college but you go to all the schools like yeah. it's predominantly white schools with yeah, rich kids that like, they there. see much much yeah. worse things then but it's just mm-hmm. that it's the stereotype mm-hmm. like and but you thing. but you have to change their mindset it didn't change they didn't agree <laughs> but uh, so <laughs> but if, 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 if strong school came out and like, said hey you know, I think this is how mindset changes. We paint this picture of where we're perfect and it runs Yeah, but then Vivian Pala isn't interested in changing mindset. But, but they they want to protect their own interests. You know, want, I you don't know why. They want to, to keep and to be honest, I don't <laughs> even think it's a Nigerian thing. Any if anything comes out here and they come, they, they would give me that I think I think it's, but I think say, it's oh, not we support good. whatever, but they're also gonna say no, huh? not my no, we connected this video to Vivian Fallon. She because she just used the word. She it. just she just said she went to Vivian. They went as far as saying it wasn't until they released the statement. That's when it they went as far. That's, that's why I'm they saying they went as if far as saying quiet, yeah. I would have. They even went it. as far as literally when I she, they said she said she went to Caleb and she went to VF. A lot of people in the comments were saying, oh, she she must have come from a good home since she was able to go to private school. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And and and, and you she know, speaks she's, pretty well. Yeah, and that's fine. But then. Next thing they go, oh, we did our investigation. She prov- so they went to contact. So you mean you have means of going to contact crackheads mm-hmm. to, but you're not going to help them. But you're going to go contact them to find out the name this girl used. So they found two names and said none of those names are in their records. And it's the saddest thing is that if this girl, I so I went to Olashiri and I don't rep Olashiri for anything. Like I never have anything good to say about this school as a whole. Because the school didn't treat me right. But I tell you tomorrow, if I come out and, and my, I'm president or my name is something, they'll be the first set of people to come and say, oh, mm-hmm. he mm-hmm. came to my yeah. school. Mm-hmm. And the thing about it is it's bullshit. I would, oh, I would denounce them at that point and say, no, I went to ISI because I did go to ISI first. It's because they never treated me good when I was there. But once you come out and you're being like this poster person, that's when they're like, oh my God, this person's an alumni. Nah, fuck that. But, I don't but, think it's far fetched for them to do that. I think, any, I think it's bullshit. anywhere they would I actually think it's do it. Right, but no, I'm about to play the second cool. part of this video. So, so I, I think Tony Rappo is this pastor that goes and mm-hmm. he tries to re- rehabilitate people, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And he goes into these communities. And he actually seems like a genuinely good guy. Like, he seems like a, not like the typical Niger pastor. Or am I wrong here? I haven't seen anything like he, about he, him. He, it seems like he's doing community work. Like he's actually there That's trying good. to help people. That's good. Uh, hopefully, it's not for clout. But he. But I'm about to play the second video where Tony Rappo actually goes. I don't even know what it looks like. No, no, he, uh, I'm about to play. Yeah, that's he's a tall, tall he's dude. Tall. Like so he's going into the slums now. I think he's going to go meet Lizzie. 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 She's here, sir. This is Lizzie. Oh, yeah, let's go there. And she is. Yeah, they, they, she like grabbed his legs. He's crying. They're praying now. Okay, so he, 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 they're taking her to the rehab center to go detox. That thing is. Look, the reason why I bring this up, guys. Is, so they went into the crack house. Yeah. yeah. They, what about t- the other people there? Ah, yeah, they just took her. Yeah. The camera <laughs> team cannot record. Yeah. 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 One, one at a time. Okay. She is tearing up now. I can't even the, believe there are uh, such crack houses uh, in Nigeria. That that now also that that to me is what is nah. I find mind blowing. I can't it. The thing like, I do what? like about it's, this it's though is that Tony. I mean, like you said, what happens to the rest? He's not Tony Rappu. Is that his name? Yeah. Rappu. Mm-hmm. Rappu. He's not Jesus Christ. So it's not mm-hmm. his job. In all fairness, it's not it's nobody's job to do anything for anybody. Mm-hmm. But the fact that he's come out and he's made it mainstream, like he's put it for one, mm-hmm. it means other clouds well, at least cloud chasing pastors the rest would also probably do something like mm-hmm. this but at least it will help a community i like the fact that he's showing that she's a human being yeah um she's not, he's not overlooking the fact that the fact that you do crack the same the way even fella is looking at it and saying no i can't dist- i have to distance myself mm-hmm. he's looking at it and saying no because a lot of churches distance themselves from people like this they use people like this to tell you this is this is what happens to you mm-hmm. if you don't come to christ and this is what happens to your children if we don't pray for them and everything but he's mm-hmm. like look we're going to go get that girl and, 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 and something I, and, for her. And, and also, I, let, me, let me mention, I don't think this is the first time he's doing I don't think so like because she mentioned the she bookie mentioned girl. That, yeah. That, yeah. So I guess, and, and it's not it's not cheap also to take no, someone out not, of a crack house. You know, so, But but what you really know. scares me about this story is that there's nothing more dangerous than when you mix poverty and crack. Drugs and, in general. Just drugs in general, but 
Okay, at first, okay, I, I knew about the coding thing. You know, there was a time that it was really big, and I heard about how big that was. And now it's like crack now. All these things are are gateway drugs. That's why I hate when people downplay things like weed or marijuana because they're all gateway drugs. She what would is have never been. Drug? She would have never. <laughs> That's something I never understood. What's gateway drug? Like, so it's, it's it's a drug, right? Mm. That may be less addictive or less harmful, right? Mm. But it leads to other it things starts, like yeah. alcohol. Yeah. It mm-hmm. starts. Alcohol is a gateway drug. It can be. So it it starts your addiction to other substances that are more severe, like crack cocaine. She was smoking weed. She, he and that was how it started. That, that, with that's, that, that is true. That is true. You do make a point there. And she's like, oh, I'm smoking. I'm getting high. This is the feeling. I'm. She, she doesn't even, she has no mm-hmm. idea. Okay? So that's why I don't like when people downplay things like marijuana, even though it can maybe have some other beneficial effects to it. Mm-hmm. It's still a gateway drug. Quick question. If he laced her food instead with weed. We She's don't. not supposed to eat rice and get high. Cra- wait, but if <laughs> so she eats rice. No, but if, if, she, if he laced if it and... If she eats rice and get la- high, she's going to yeah, But do you know that when you you're... Crack, if you do it one time, when you they still have do, a chance. When they do, but you don't know. When they do the experiments with um, rats, the rats don't know what they're eating. Obviously, they're not humans, but their addiction builds over time to the fact where when they give them food and they give them crack, they want crack. And... It might be a day where it might not hit her straight away, but eventually she realized that man, something feels a little off. And then she would ask and say, what's different this time in the food? And I say, oh, I didn't put crack in there. Mm-hmm. And then she might be like, oh, let me try the crack. I don't get with drug. I think it's a myth because I it's just feel like it's not a myth because liquor or anything else. Yes. Uh, sorry about that. We had a brief intermission, uh, but we're back. Uh, we were saying. Wally, but, but I said gateway drug is a myth. <laughs> yes. Well, and I was saying it's not a myth because you could start taking prescription pills, for example, narcotics, and anything you can build tolerance to, once you get to that point where it's no longer effective for you or giving you that high, you're going to look for something else. And anything you can build tolerance to or dependence to, you will have withdrawal symptoms too, whether it's the pain coming back mm-hmm. or... You have physical withdrawal. Your body goes, you start to sweat. You're shaking, mm-hmm. um, headaches, depending on what substance you're taking. It's mm-hmm. also person to person. It differs. Do you think shisha hookah mm-hmm. is a gateway drug? No. I mean, you can't build dependence or tolerance to shisha. You can't? No. I know people that are hooked on hookah, though. Mm-hmm. It's in their head. <laughs> you can't physically be dependent on hookah. Well, I see what you mean. Okay. But if you if you become physically dependent on a substance, mm-hmm. alcohol too. If you're an alcoholic, mm-hmm. you, that one bottle that you're drinking turns into ten bottles. Yeah, I think it's all about moderation. As long as you're not abusing it and you're not, I mean, anybody who abuses anything, they're still you, classified you have a tendency as that to, way, though. As gateway. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If it can lead to something else, yes. Yeah. And there has been a lot of research. That yeah, I, I mean, I, I, I definitely, I'm not disputing that. That it obviously, it, it, there's a. I mean, for this girl, it was obviously the gateway. Um, but I'm just saying that it's. Well, she was tricked. But I don't think that's necessarily any reason to villainize one drug over another because we all have one type of substance abuse. Well, sub, well some type of actually, abuse some people have. Mm. Some people I have. Sh- I don't know. I don't agree with. That. I think you can. <laughs> some drugs can be villainized over yeah, others. They can. Like, okay. So like, meth, so, like yeah, her, yeah, yeah, like yeah done, definitely, yeah. definitely. But then you have a drug like weed that there are actually a lot of health benefits to it too. Yes, but that's why you can't. You can't like. Like, that's why you have to so I think the, some over others the like, problem is that the problem is that we fair that's fair. the one that people can't seem to agree on because you have arguments like weed is good for you it is that that or you have arguments like it's a gateway drug and that's just the middle we, one. all i know is that if 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 alcohol is legal and alcohol has caused way more deaths then you can't alcohol wasn't le- always legal and yeah, I don't it think, wasn't. And there's also restrictions. And it was a bigger. P- and it was it was a bigger problem when when it wasn't legal. And I'm not saying also that alcohol weed, isn't a problem. You're smoking but, it, yeah. and with alcohol, you're I, I'm just not sure. I'm, so I'm, the, I'm, the method I'm, people tend to correlate yeah. the fact that you smoke, you can smoke crack, you can you can okay, fair. the delivery. The, 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 it's almost the, the same. Yeah, differs mm-hmm. in terms of potency. Yeah. Yeah. Anything that you take in by mouth yeah. has to go through your whole digestive system, like alcohol like alcohol yeah. and it has uh-huh. to be processed by your liver and everything yeah. right yeah. but if you inhale something yeah. or if you inject something inject. it's like 
going right Into through your bloodstream. Your yeah. Blood yeah. Stream. yeah. So, yes, you can definitely villainize well, some substances. Let's move on. Send it to drugs. But, but, but what I don't understand <laughs> is why, is why <laughs> you choose <laughs> to. <laughs> 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 like, do you know that so, what I don't understand is why you choose. What I don't understand is why you choose to villainize weed when you're not talking about alcohol. When we know that alcohol has caused far I'm, more. I don't. I don't. I said that it's. They're the same. They're both the bad. Same. What I was saying is I don't like when people downplay certain drugs like weed. Just okay, because fair. it has some benefits. Fair, fair, It fair. is still a drug that fair. can lead to other things. Okay. So, so is alcohol. So in summary, yes, we all agree that these things are all gateways. Yes. Well, we're in agreement with that, right? Oh, except Wale. Wale thinks it's a bit of a myth. <laughs> yeah, okay. A all right. But we, but we need to move on to.